Hey guys, this is Kingsley from Bless Channel. Yo, welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to remove the website URL field from your comment section. This website URL field actually allows people to drop their website link on your comment section with the sole aim of maybe trying to improve their SEO score. Meanwhile, it ends up becoming spam to your own website. So I'm going to be quickly showing you how to remove this particular website URL field from your website or if possible to remove the entire comment form from your website. So now we are going to be doing this using two ways. One, we are going to be making use of a plugin and also the second way we are going to be making use of adding some custom codes to your website. So now without further ado, I'm going to go straight into the tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to remove this website URL from your comments form. Hello everyone, this is Kingsley from Bless Channel. In case you're just joining me for the first time, please and just click on the subscribe button and don't forget to always click on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new video or so that you'll be the first to be get the notify whenever I upload new videos. And to begin with, you can see from my website here, actually, I mean, this is actually a post I actually opened on my website. So if I should scroll down, you will notice that I am having a comment section here. And the comment box section here we are having, you can see we have the website field in this particular section. So I'm going to be showing you how to quickly remove this particular section. As I said, the first method we are going to be using, we are going to be making use of a plugin so i'm going to go to my website you can see this is my website dashboard what you are going to do is to quickly you are going to go to plugin you're going to go to plugins and click on add new so once you click on add new it's going to open this for you so now you're, what you're going to search you're going to search for comment comment link remove just search for comment link remove this is what you search for just search for comment link remove once you search for that it's going to open this is the one we are going to be making use of this particular one you can see i already have it installed and activated on my website so you have to install it and activate it on your website so once you've done that you're going to head over once you've installed and activated it you're going to Come here you are going to see this particular field here so now you are going to click on it once you click on it you're going to the next thing is going to open up and you're going to scroll down you can see delete or comment uh, remove you can see you can there are so many things you can actually do with this particular plugin so now let's quickly where well, our main aim now is to remove the comment the website field from the comment section so now i'm going to now click here click here click here so you can see where and also remove this click here so now these are the ones the first four here are the ones i actually clicked on so now i'm going to now click on save changes once i click on save changes your changes will be applied so now i'm going to now go ahead go to preview now i'm going to refresh this particular page and see if my website link will be gone you can see it looks as if it's still appearing this is due to my system website cache so i'm going to go to my cache now i'm actually using a light speed light speed uh, cache plugin so i'm going to now push i'm going to push all the cache so once i click on push cache yours might appear but in case you're having just try to clear push your cache and now refresh this particular page now you can see that by the time i refresh this page you can see that the website link is actually gone from this particular comment section so you can see this will hinder people from actually dropping spamming links on my website so now i'm let's i'm going to show you something else now still on this plugin i might decide okay i don't really want i still want i just don't want the entire comment section on my website you can just click activate this and click on save changes now once that is done i'm going to quickly to save a portion of my cache 
and show you how the website is now so now if i should go back to my po post and refresh you're going to see that the whole comment section is going to you can see there's no more comment section on my website any longer so you can now see that is one way to do that so i'm going to go back and undo what i've done so now i'll change removing it so this is the first way to do that using your using plugin if you're using making use of this plugin you can just use this right away to solve your problem now but in so, some cases you might want to be use code to actually to piece of code to actually remove this particular what uh, wordpress url field from you can see i've actually returned it to default so you can see, now i'm going to go back now and you can see i'm going to now go so apply the second method to your website using the codes you will need something like a code snippet to actually insert this code to your website i actually prefer using code snippets to avoid in, for instances where i then because if i should insert it into my php function.php you will by the time i i change my team or i do some upgrade on my team, it's going to all those codes are going to disappear i might actually break my website or the way i actually set my so i you recommend using code snippets so that those your codes your website will still remain intact the way it is so now to quickly do that you can go ahead to plugins and install any code snippets this will actually help you in saving or in adding so many a lots and lots of custom codes to your website without breaking your website down so now i'm going to now add code snippets i'm going to just search for code snippets just search for code snippets once you search for code snippet is going you are going to see just you're going to see this too so actually i'm using on my website i actually installed the wp code in the snippet that this particular one that's the one i actually installed you can install this and do make use of it and but um i actually have this installed so i'm going to be making use of this particular one in case you want to do the same thing you can install this particular wp code and make use of it so i can you can see this is where i have it code snippets then I can see all, I can click on here to view all my snippets. So now when I click on here, you're going to see all the snippets I actually added. You can see completely disabled comment, disabled comment, completely disabled comments from your website. You can just use this code and it's going to disable all the comments from your website. I actually have, so now you can see completely. Now this one is the one I actually did. So you can see remove URL from this so you can click on add new and it's going to then but now i already have it so i want to open here so it's, i'm going to open it edit it so once i edit i'm going to show you how the code look like you can check in the description box below you're going to see a link to where i have this particular code for you so you can just copy that click on the link and get the code and all add it to your website so now i'm going to quickly waiting for it to open so we go ahead i go ahead to show you how to add this code you can see it's actually the page is actually open so i can now you can see okay let me do something i'm going to i'm not although i'm not adding but i want to show you something i'll click on add snippet so you see how everything looks like if i was to do add a new snippet or this is the code you will be needing to add to your website so this is how the code looks like so you just need to copy this code and insert it to you, this particular site so now let's say i do i'm doing this copy this snippets this code i have it on you can check the link in the description you are going to see the code link to where i have this code saved so now let me Now let me now come to this particular site. You can see this is how it's going to open. I'm going to click on add custom code. 
once i click on add custom code it's going to open up for me so from here you can see i have this then i have add the code type title i can say um url remove or let me say comment url remove comment url remove this should be the title and i'm going to now come to this particular site i'm going to code type what is the type of i can paste it in the code let me come here and paste in the code first i can paste in the code then code type i'm going to select php you can see i'm going to on the code type i'm selecting php then when i now scroll down you're going to see run everywhere just leave everything the way it is then what you now do is to click on active then after that i'm going to now click on save once i click on this save it's going to this code you can see is now active so i'm going to now push my cache so that everything i need to take effect so after that once my okay my cache is done so now can now you can see we are still we are still having it so by the time i refresh this particular page now you're going to see that the url the website link will be removed you can see the website field is actually removed from my wordpress from my comment section so i believe you might have this this will actually help to solve lots and lots of spam comment problems so because when someone comes and here if there's no way he or she can add website he or she will definitely decide not to even drop any comment so i believe you might have learned a lot from this particular video in case you like this video or you enjoy it make sure you share this video with you like it if in case you like this video make sure you hit the like button and also share this video to as many who might learn from it so until next time this is where i'm going to stop bye for now